Hello everyone, my name is Mad Wolf and welcome back to Tell Me Why. Oh man, I haven't had this cereal in forever. Wait, you said you were near Coco Cracks. Jesus closed up that way. Hey guys, I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh hey! Tyler from the boat, right? Oh yeah, Alexander. We keep bumping into each What's other, up? don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. Uh, what makes you say that, sir? Are you judging me? You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately, we're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Is Tom busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. Hmm. Do you know if Tessa's gonna be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. I seriously need to make food. Okay, I've eaten, I got coffee. Am I still recording? All right, what were we doing? Looking for Tessa, even though she's not here. So we're gonna talk to Tom, because he was in the office. What up? I'll vote for you if you give me information. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way over soon. Hey, don't push me. What the fuck? Hello, Tyler. I'm can over here. Can I help you? Now, because I was pushed out of the way. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Okay, uh, well, guess best not to beat around the bush. Let's, uh, let's go in. Tessa reported Marianne. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely, but I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Why was Tessa at the station? Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? That's what I was Can't wondering. I remember who called, but I was wondering that same thing. You know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly... Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. We need the truth. We have well, a right to... if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there, uh... Anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who her father might have been? I'm not exactly a rumor monger. 
Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. wonder what uh, that's about. Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Is hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? No, not not really. Why not? The game here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh she she's at the cemetery uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Oh. Good job. Hey, tell you what. Allison, why don't you guys help me close the store? And then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Where'd that question about our father come from? I've just been thinking about who he might be, and if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't think so either. Uh, hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. I know, but I'll be there too. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well, we need to get this door closed, so go give him a hand. You sure you're going to be okay? Yes, so stop hovering. Oh, well, okay then. I know when I'm not wanted. Where is Michael? Michael. Alright. I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not called. Uh, I got this in the back. Oh, it's yeah? my day this off. Is just that good, huh? I am. I mean, it's just counting stuff on a shelf, right? Yeah, let's start with an easy one. Alright. Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Moto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. at the back of the room. Hold on. Let me count this. Oh. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. And where are they at exactly? I thought you had this in the bag. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Tessa puts the heavy stuff near the door on the bottom shelves. All right, I think I can work with that. But which door? Are there multiple doors? There's a door right there. I see it. Two, four, six. We're gonna say six. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They I might give me your job. Oh, you can Don't have interrupt it. Me. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. I passed first grade. I know how to count. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Beautiful. Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. He hid the hands Nailed and it, everything, right? too. Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey, 
Don't make fun of me. I'm not. Oh, maybe a little bit, but I like it. He hid the Perfect. hands. Well, I feel that. Just to have a good model. So this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker. I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right. Anything else you wanted me to check? Yep. One last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, what box? Is it literally right here? Is it? What 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 box? Uh, hint. I'm gonna assume it's here. Uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. What did he want? Where? The least you could do is point, Michael. Wait, is that it? Is that the box right there? Aha. So. Wow. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, you've got about eleven left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. Asshole. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. This is giving me Last of Us vibes. Last of Us left behind. Bitch! Oh, wait. One sec. Step out of cover, I dare ya. Trauma, bitch. Eey. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. How do I- how do I throw? Boom! Boom! Uh-oh. I am not in the best cover. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good-looking company back here. Are you... Are you flirting with me? Uh, 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 I'm bad at making decisions. Oh, so I'm good-looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I'm still Too destroying late. you. Are uh, you gonna do anything? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna, like, sell them? Yeah. Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul, then. Where is he? Oh, he's still there. He hit him in the face. <laughs> gotcha. Those those plushies though are um, they're something. Oh, <laughs> yes, you got Man, him in the fucking good. face. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, we'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, alright. Cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Bitch's grotto. Beautiful name. Give me. Is that the mangy muskrat? And we'll take that.
Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah, that's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. <laughs> for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages, but he is very, very hot. Shit, yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah, he's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah, yep, I see it. Yikes, that's unsettling. Very. I, I agree completely. Oh, hey, see that container? Pizza. That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. So sweet. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. We'll have to fix that. Can I make some pizza, please? I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, <sighs> she doesn't say anything. Man. Must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town will be a full-time fucking job. Yeah. And emotional labor pays shit. Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE. Meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me. Because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Hey, I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. And what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. I'm still figuring my shit out. I'm not sure if I'm made to be with anyone, you know? Yeah, of course. And don't ever feel like you have to rush into anything. Yeah, I don't. But thank you. Anyway... And... I'm done. Oh wait! Oh, okay. No way! You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah, <laughs> Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. And what happened? Uh, you ever heard of Moon Rocks? <laughs> we took two hits before going to the show and that was it. Our feet couldn't find the floor, not our finest hour. So, you think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? Uh, I don't know. The guy's sweet and not entirely incompetent, but it doesn't really matter. Vote for him's a vote for Tessa. She'd be the one running the show. So I take it you're not Tessa's biggest fan? Yeah, you know, every time I put up flyers for queer events, she accidentally covers them. <sighs> Jesus, that's fucked. Oh, Jesus has nothing to do with that, trust <laughs> me. Being religious doesn't mean you gotta weaponize your religion against other people. That's a choice. Yes! <laughs> I hear you. What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got a few surprisingly bold stances. Yeah, like his gun regulations. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Exactly, but I'm not totally sure how I feel about that though, to be honest. Really? Really. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. Oh, yeah. I never thought about it that way. So is he a cool boss? Uh, cool? I, I love that. I'm pretty sure that's not a word oh, anyone has ever used to describe Milk Toast Tom. But he's all right. I mean, not the worst boss I've ever had. I love that all the characters have different opinions and... I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? 
Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Fireweed. Your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be, especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life saving a chosen family can be. They pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. You're swell too, buddy old pal of mine. Wow, you're just great. <laughs> Well, golly gee, Michael, I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better Why compliments did the than that. But I can't open with my best Wait, friend. does... Cool. So, does I'll get more of those if I get to know does you Does Allison better. actually have a thing for, sure. for him? If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour oh, waiting no. for you two dum-dums to come back. Oh. Are you guys ready to go? Oh no. Mm -hmm. I think we've done about as much damage oh, as we can no. back here. Yeah. Let's go. I didn't think there was actually something between Allison and him. Or maybe she has a crush on him. Did I just fuck up? I think I fucked up. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Here we are. She looks so sad. Why you look so sad? Oh, cemetery. Right. Forgot. Thanks for letting me hitch a ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. But anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. I feel like I fucked up. Tessa should be at her parents' grave. Not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? Uh, I really hope I didn't fuck up. I did not, I did not, cause the, the so choice thing did you ever said I fucked up. Keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Our mother made us come here all the time. It was so weird. Mom? Why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lovely. That's right, That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. 
in here. Always here. Husband's definitely dead. <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. But sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so yes. Savage. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branch? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Yeah. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Yazzie. Why does that sound familiar? Yazzie yeah, Trucking. He used to haul lumber for the sawmill. Oh, yeah. And he always blasts the horn for us. No dice. That was so weird to hear him say that out loud after getting used to De Leon. the brain thing. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Uh-oh. We're gonna get some flashbacks. You really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Alright, let's do it. Tessa's probably visiting the grave, to be honest. I imagine that's where she would be right now. Do you remember where she is? Kids. No come back after years. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. You know, asking questions and stuff probably has her thinking Allison, about her. Please. I'm not going! Oh. Allison, steps in. come back! I'm already starting to regret this. <sighs> yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Well, we could see it if the button prompt would show up. Hello? I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you could be able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. It's not fair. The little differences. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. I'm going to side with Allison this time. I'll be back soon, alright? Promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. 
kids. About to start. I'm sorry. It's there we go. To come back. I got so caught up in everything that you really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> no. Maybe someday, but not today. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. This spot's familiar. I was about to say. No. It was years later. I was about to say it definitely didn't help. I saw uh Tessa right there, but I'm going to just check this out more. Ty. Yeah, I, I saw her, I saw her. Jeez, let me take my time. Snow dice. Okay. I don't think there's anything else, so I guess we'll talk to her. First, I'll talk to you. Got anything to say? No? Okay, then. You sure? Okay. Moving on. No, I want to see your grave before we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I see. You were trying to tell me. Okay. Or not. Uh, that's not it. It's a video game. It should be super obvious. I am assuming this is it. She's got to be here somewhere. Nope. I want to see her grave before we go. Well, where is it, Tyler? Where is Marianne's grave? No dice. No dice. Of course. I'd imagine it would be secluded and... Very obvious. Help me out here. I. Wh where is it? Not hers. Why can't I? Where is she? I don't know. Oh my god, it was right there. Not obvious at all. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. I wasn't expecting to see... What are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? on. Our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. 
Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to cause social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around uh. with a married man, well, just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. Yep. There were other things I could have done. Better things. Like I'm, I'm I know not. I've made mistakes. I understand why she did what she did. I can do say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. But it wasn't I don't the right deserve call. Deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good? With who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank that you. is so sweet. Tessa. I know the last couple of days have been hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? <sighs> yeah. I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then exactly. what the kind of chance do we have? Exactly. Thank you. Both of you, kids. I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. Hell yeah, free food. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. Certainly I had was. pretty much given up on her. But I guess sometimes people change. Yes. No, I feel like a total ass right now. You shouldn't. She needed to hear all of that. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, I might bring in a peace offering my first day back. Any ideas? Uh, Jesus stuff? <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll just finally bring back that book I borrowed six months ago. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. 
Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's he got true. a lot of help You're on there. your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. You need time. You need to stop putting yourself down. Stop it. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, have a positive we're gonna sell the attitude. house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos. Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? No. Really? No. I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. She was... Right? Going to commit suicide. But yes, something is missing. Never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always gonna feel that way. I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Oh, shit. Oh, Allison. Shit. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Sam? The fuck? Tyler! Tyler, are you alright? Uh, that was a barn. Stay there. I got it. Who the fuck was that? It looked like they were wearing the clothes that Marianne was wearing the night she died. Though I'm not 100% sure. Oh, there, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I don't know. I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? Evidence, maybe? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Hey, come check this out! Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. 
Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Hey, come check this out. Huh? These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt. Bird chickens. She was always saying how she was gonna make this place a real homestead. Little house on the tundra. Aha, the perfect tool. Guess we know how he made the hole. Step back. I'll be fine. What's in the box? Come on, man, what's in the box? Well, I only know one person who bothered to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. Numbers. I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open. Well, but I can solve it. without destroying the box. But I, I, I want to solve it. The Book of Goblins, of course. Yes, yes. Okay. So, Princess Two Thieves. Uh... Wait. Look. Aha. It's the same symbol. The Secret Keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. Wait. Oh. Oh. I, I think I see a three. Oh, I see it. Okay, it was in the art. I see. I see. So... One, three, zero, right? That did it. Ha ha! Fuck you, game. You have no power here. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Dear Marianne, I need to see you again. I know that sounds... I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I chased after all the new girls in Della's Crossing. I've always taken my vow seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we're together, I feel like I'm going... I, I'm doing 80 down the highway with my lights off, and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right, and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same. Heart symbol. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Is that, is that, that's either Sam or the ex-husband. Fuck. Marianne, Marianne, I'm sorry for your, I'm sorry you're in this situation. This, this guy tried to push Marianne to get an abortion, even though she wanted to keep us. Marianne, I'm sorry you're in the situation. I know you feel you'd make a great mother, and I don't doubt you will someday. But right now we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage, it... My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, and she doesn't deserve this. But mostly, I'm worried about you. People here talk, and I don't want you to have to go through with that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. Is that... I think that's Sam. Where did he even come from? I didn't notice any cars on the way in. He bailed behind the... That's everything. What the hell? So... Marianne hid a box under the barn. Box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. Uh. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. Wait, pretty clear I wanted to say he was wearing You thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. 
Uh, why'd they both look in the same direction? Spider senses. Uh oh. Allison! Allison! Why are we seeing this? I don't know about you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. What happens? This is where I tripped. someone here that night? In the woods? No. It was just... I, s I saw... Who the hell did I actually see? Is there someone over there? It's Sam. Right? No. What the... No, that, that was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Yeah. Maybe? Hold on. When they Do saw him. That? When they saw him in the house. He probably, maybe, I wonder, is the dad came back because he's like, oh, well, since you're losing custody of them, I'll take them. So if Marianne did want to kill the two of them, which I don't think she did. I think it was just a suicide uh, attempt that was interrupted. But um, it would be because she didn't want him to have them. Would be my guess. My spider senses are telling me that something's happening, but I'm not seeing anything. Wait. Oh, there we go. I see it. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. The story. But I, the story I, I just I read. Just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. So the I'll Mad Hunter and the Secret Let's Keeper go. are the same person? Because they, in the story, they got their voice from the secret keeper, and he's got him still be here. Why can't I? We can do it. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my. 
my foot. Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet. We don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. that would happen we almost had it though that was us watching marianne fight with that guy try to focus on him all right don't think about anything else i'll try Focus! Come up! Make sure I've been keeping my mouth shut. I don't owe you anything. You've been a little all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? He's here. I can't, Tyler. We were so damn close. He's interrupting it. Maybe it's just Allison being too stressed. I'm sorry, but I'm done. That's it. You're just giving up, just like that. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley. Or it's only gonna get worse. But right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? <sighs> what do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, do you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison... I mean, I was right, but like, what the fuck is going on? Explain, please. Oh, come on. Come on. Why you gotta do that to me? Oh, well, that was episode two, chapter two, whatever the fuck you want to call it. <sighs> Just have more questions now. We're getting close to the end, though. One more chapter to go, about three, four more episodes, and that'll be that. Oh. Our choices, right? Tyler and Allison. Tyler and Allison. Dis uh, Tyler felt Allison discarded his feelings when choosing her memory at the house. I was in the minority because I was. I don't know. I didn't side with him. Ah, fucking controller, really. Tyler felt heard about needing time when Allison refused. Uh, refused the house showing. Yes, yes, I was in the majority. 
Allison felt hopeful about becoming a fam. Allison felt hopeful about becoming a family when Tyler forgave Eddie. Eighty percent of people forgave Eddie. Eddie was touched by Tyler's forgiveness. Eighty percent. Don't know why these are two separate things because I mean like it's the same thing, but I guess because this is involving Eddie right here. Michael was heartfelt, heart heartened by Tyler's compliment. Uh, 81% of people forgave Tessa. Tessa is grateful. Well, that's nice. For the most part, I was in the majority. There's something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Let's go. Looks like an attic to me. Did I say addict? Attic. Interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, the story that I read, um, it was talking about the secret keeper or whatever, and how the twins inherit inherited their power from him, them. Uh, which is why I'm assuming that's the dad, but the dad would also be the mad hunter. I don't know. I'm sure the game will explain it uh, as we finish it up. We have a few more episodes to go, but until then, thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series. Leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Kin of Woo Discord link in the description below. I'll see you in the next video of mine. Take care, guys. Bye for now.